I'm so excited to be setting up my sales navigator for Vengresso. I've been using the same sales navigator for years now and it's kind of fun to have a fresh start. And I thought it might make sense to take you through the process. So we're just gonna go through the Sales Navigator onboarding process together. When you are at your welcome screen, you're gonna click continue. And the first thing you wanna do is add in your city or state. So I'm gonna put in Greater Philadelphia area. Now I can add other areas in which I would like LinkedIn to search for me and I can actually even say all of the United States. I can actually add the entire world if that's my geographic target market. I hit continue and now I can choose industries specifically that I want to go after. Take some time to choose the right industries that work for you or consider any industry or all industries if in fact you are industry agnostic. Click continue. Now you can tell Sales Navigator who are your ideal prospects by company employees. So the size of a company, what, is, what are you going after? Now for me, a lot of my clients are very small. What I wanna target are my other clients, so I definitely have some Fortune 500s, and I have some onesie uh, employee uh, entrepreneurs, uh, solopreneurs. But for the purpose of Sales Navigator, I'm going to go after the larger enterprise size companies and leave the smaller ones out of my search. I definitely want that business, but that's not how I'm going to use Sales Navigator to go after that. And I hit continue. Now I can hit function. This is really important to me. I can scroll through and choose. I know that I want sales and I want marketing. Those are the two functions I primarily work with. So that's what I'm going to choose. Go through each one and if it's someone that you encounter during the, your sales process, add them to this function, targeted function list. Now we can start adding some companies. So I might add some of my existing clients to start. I can simply go through, add some of those, and then continue. Once I've done that, LinkedIn Sales Navigator allows me to watch a short video. Absolutely watch their video. Their training on this is, is their Feature function training is excellent. Uh, you can actually go in and see if there's anything new in your accounts or start to find new leads. So this actually has my one account that I already put in. You can see that's probably that arrow mark as we go through. But it's gonna take me through Lead Builder, which is probably one of the most powerful search filters for all sales. We can dive down into this later but from here, this is where I'm gonna pick what is the level seniority. So I might want to choose director or VP. I can go in and I'm gonna add sales and marketing again here. So if they should show up. And then you'll see there are lots of different breakdowns. I can go in, I can choose my, my geographic location if I wanted to. I love to choose second degree connections. That's typically who I'm going after. And then uh, my lead builder went away. There it goes, I can bring that back up. I wanna go after my second degree connections. That's a big list of people, right? So maybe I wanna pick a different geographic area. Maybe I'm just gonna stick by my home to start with. Uh, maybe I will go to Washington DC area, metro area. And I'll pick Greater New York. So that will bring it down to a more manageable number. Uh, I also uh, may be interested, I can pick my industries if I want to from here. And I can go ahead as well um, and pick company headcount size, just like I did now. Remember, before I was telling LinkedIn what I was interested in, but I was not building a list. Now is where I'm going out and building a list of my ideal prospects. 
and I hit search. And so that's going to give me a list now. I have 3.3300-ish uh, 3, uh, ish people that I are now opportunities that meet the criteria that I'm looking to engage with. Now my goal is to go in and save leads as appropriate. So if I go in and I can look through and I say, do I want Andrew at Pivotal Software, Vice President of Sales? Yes, I do. I can go ahead and I can save the folks as leads as I go through here. This is a really great process to go through. Now, if you look here, I, this gentleman has two they have, his company is Teradata, Teradata, excuse me, and Habitat for Humanity. I am definitely more interested in saving him under his company, but because he has two companies listed, Sales Navigator is asking me to choose which one I want to save as the account. So I could go ahead and now we have Postal Service. That's probably something I might skip. I can continue to move through this process and save leads. Once I've saved these leads, they are now in my leads list. When I click on here, from here, I am going to want to add tags. So I'm gonna click on tag and LinkedIn will give me a bunch of tags that I am not interested in. So I'm actually just gonna simply delete these tags and I am going to add my own tags in the process driven way that I want to use Sales Navigator tags. So I can go ahead and I'm gonna hit tag and I can create a new tag. My first one is going to be connection requested. Now, if I go into my tags, I can see that's number one, connection requested. My second one will be welcome message sent. So in this particular case, I am going to tag Sharon as connection requested, even though I haven't done that, I'm about to do that now. And then I can now go into Sharon's profile and request Sharon to connect with me. I'm gonna add a personal note and make sure that we connect. From here, you can see, you could add tag here too, if in fact uh, I wanted to. And then when she turns from a second degree connection to a first, I'm actually gonna move her to, to welcome message sent and take out my first one which was connection requested. I can take notes, and once we have some messages going back and forth, that will show up here. So that's how I'm getting ready to use my Sales Navigator. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions with Sales Navigator, let me know, reach out. Would love to share some tips and tricks on how to leverage Sales Navigator to grow your pipeline.